Next Tuesday is election day. Next Tuesday, all of you will go to the polls, who stand there in the polling place and make a decision. I think when you make that decision, it might be well if you would ask yourself, are you better off than you were four years ago? Is it easier for you to go and buy things in the stores than it was four years ago? Is there more or less unemployment in the country than there was four years ago? Is America as respected throughout the world as it was? Do you feel that security is as safe, that we're as strong as we were four years ago? And if you answer all of those questions, yes, why then I think your choice is very obvious as to who you will vote for. If you don't agree, if you don't think that this course that we've been on for the last four years is what you would like to see us follow for the next four, then I could suggest another choice that you have. You already are the oldest president in history, and some of your staff say you were tired after your most recent encounter with Mr. Mr. Uh, Mondale. Um, I recall yet that President Kennedy had to go for days on end with very little sleep during the Cuba Missile Crisis. Is there any doubt in your mind that you would be able to function in such circumstances? Not at all, Mr. Truett, and I, and I want you to know that also I will not make age an issue of this campaign. I am not going to exploit for political purposes my opponent's youth and inexperience. <laughs> It's morning again in America. Today, more men and women will go to work than ever before in our country's history. With interest rates at about half the record highs of 1980, nearly 2,000 families today will buy new homes, more than at any time in the past four years. This afternoon, 6,500 young men and women will be married. And with inflation at less than half of what it was just four years ago, they can look forward with confidence to the future. It's morning again in America. And under the leadership of President Reagan, our country is prouder and stronger and better. Why would we ever want to return to where we were less than four short years ago? I have as much experience in the Congress as Jack Kennedy did when he sought the presidency. Senator, I served with Jack Kennedy. I knew Jack Kennedy. Jack Kennedy was a friend of mine. Senator, you're no Jack Kennedy. That was really uncalled for, Senator. <laughs> You're the one that was making the comparison, Senator. Sarah Palin walked into the debate, the punchline to a national joke, and 90 minutes later re-emerged as the pit bull and lipstick the rabid right first fell in love with at the Republican National Convention. Senator Biden, words have in the past gotten you in trouble, words that were borrowed and words that some found hateful. An editorial in the Los Angeles Times said, in addition to his uncontrolled verbosity, Biden is a gaffe machine. Can you reassure voters in this country that you would have the discipline you would need on the world stage, Senator? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Senator Biden.
And I specifically would like to know whether Governor Bush will support the Dingle Norwood bill, which is the main one pending. Governor Bush, you may answer that if you'd like, but also I'd like to know how you see the differences between the two of you, and we need to move on. Well, the difference is, is that I can get it done. That, that I can get something positive done on behalf of the people. That's what the question in this campaign is about. It's not only what's your philosophy and what's your position on issues, but can you get things done? <laughs> and I believe I can. All right. What about the Dingle Norwood bill? We welcome the two candidates, Governor Bush and Vice President Gore. Uh, Jim, if I could just uh, Just quick respond. and we need to move on. Yes, sir. I, I, I know that. Well, let me just say that uh, obviously tonight we're going to hear some kind of phony numbers. If, if I could respond to that, Jim, uh, under my plan, I will put Medicare in an ironclad lockbox. Let me, let me say something. Now, I understand. Our, I under excuse me, uh, Jim, Our Jim can I get minutes is up, but... but We'll can, I, can I make one other point? Yeah. He, Wait a minute. That's, right. just, that's, just, that's just totally false. It, Wait a minute. It's just totally right. false <laughs> right. for him to stand up here and say that. Let me, let me, let me make sure the seniors it's, hear me loud and clear. If I, just just Quick. briefly, Jim, I know. In an environmentally friendly way. Well, can I have There's the last a, word on this? New question. Of course. Okay. New Go ahead. question. If I could say All one right, other thing. We're way over the three and a half minutes. Go ahead. In a lockbox. One minute. Man's practicing fuzzy math again. One Can minute. I have a rebuttal here? Sure, but I just want to see if he, if, if he buys that. No, if here's, he, let me just tell you what the facts are. But, let, let, let me, let me pull, call your attention this to This man's it. been disparaging my plan with all this Washington fuzzy math. To move on. Well, wait a minute. 30 wait seconds, minute. Governor. Right. Okay. Well, okay. Well, yeah. Uh, first of all. Uh, can I comment on that? You may. I, I, I cannot let this go by. If I could respond, Jim. I can't let the man continue with fuzzy math. In a lockbox. Fuzzy math. C could uh, I do can I respond question. to that, Jim? <laughs> do, uh, this uh, is, this is a big issue. This is a big issue. Could we do another round on it? Lockbox. Fuzzy math. Lockbox. Fuzzy math. Lockbox. Fuzzy math. Lockbox. Fuzzy math. Could we do another round on it? Fuzzy box. Fuzzy box. Fuzzy box. Fuzzy box. Could we do another round on it? We have to stop here. One of all the folks, these good folks on the stage, it balances the budget in 2020. It does the things to the regulatory climate that has to happen. And I will tell you, it's three agencies of government when I get there that are gone. Commerce, education, and the, um, uh, what's the third one there? Let's see. <laughs> you need five. Oh, five. Yeah, okay. So five. commerce, education, and uh, the um, uh, uh, EPA. EPA. There you go. No, okay. Let's talk. Let's talk deposition. Seriously? Is EPA the one you were talking about? Or? No, sir. No, sir. We were talking about the. Um, agencies of government. EPA needs to be rebuilt. But There's you no can't. Doubt about but you that. can't name the third one. The third agency of government. Yeah. I would. I would do away with the education. Uh, the uh, <laughs> commerce. I, I, commerce. And let's see. I can't. The third. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. What? What about? I read your first book. And it said in there that your mandate in Massachusetts, which should be the model for the country. And I know it came out of, of the, the reprint of the book, but, you know, I'm just saying, you were for individual mandates, my friend. You know what? You've raised that before, Rick. And uh, you're still, simply it wrong. Was, it was true then. No, no. <laughs> it's true now. Rick, I'll, I'll tell you what. <laughs> 10,000 bucks? $10,000 bet? I'm not in the betting business, but oh, okay. I'll, I'll okay. show you this. I, I wrote the, I'll, I'll show I wrote, you the book. I, I've got the book. And, uh, and we'll show it. 